The Zadme project is about flies. Flies are incredibly important creatures because they do all kinds of things that help us have a clean planet. They decompose decaying organic material. They pollinate our plants. They also help control the populations of other species of insects because they're predators, parasites, and other kinds of control mechanisms on natural populations. We wanted to do a project where we studied all the species of flies at a single site in the tropics. Because of this, we picked a site called Zerki de Moravia in Costa Rica. That's the Z in the Zadvi project. The rest of it is all Diptera biodiversity inventory. And Diptera, of course, are the flies, the two winged insects. The reason we want to do this is because most biodiversity studies are done by estimating. That is, people get a small group of insects and they extrapolate up or they make guesses based on the samples they've taken. We're doing it the hard way. We're going in and trying to find every species of fly that's present at our site. In order to do this, we have an international uh, group of collaborators from over 40 countries working on the project. We've also partnered with the Costa Rican INBIO, the Instituto Nacional de Biodiversidad, which allows us to work with the in-country partners. This incredible group of people helps us collect, mount, prepare, and process the samples so our collaborators get excellent material or specimens ready for them to identify. No mussing around in the labs in North America. It's all prepared here. Another good thing about our project is that we have constrained the site. That is, we're just looking at a small place, about three football fields worth of forest. Now that may not sound like much, but down here in the tropics, that's a lot of land, and that's a lot of biodiversity. We expect to find about 3,000 or more species of flies at this site, which is an incredible number. But we're not going to be stuck at that 3,000 species. That's just our early estimate. It could go much, much higher. That's the reason we're doing this research, to find out really how many species can inhabit a small area of Costa Rica. Many of the insects that we find will be completely new to science. And that's not just a conjecture. We're not just guessing that. We know for a fact because we've sent out some of the material to our collaborators. For instance, we sent out a group of eight specimens to a collaborator in Brazil, Dr. Dalton Amarim, who works on the minute scavenger flies. Every one of those eight specimens represented a species new to science. That's not just a hypothetical new species, that's for sure, because he's the world's expert on the group. In the same way, other specialists have found new species, even new higher taxa like genera, that is completely new different types of, of flies. We also expect to find new behaviors. For instance, at the site at Zerki, we found a species of megacelia in the family that I work on, the Foridae, that does an intriguing mating dance to attract males pushing out giant glands in the back of her abdomen, raising her wings, and presumably res uh, emitting a courtship pheromone to attract males. These are the sorts of things you find when you look at flies closely for a long period of time in a tropical forest. Okay. Some people might ask, why study flies in a tropical forest? The answer, of course, is flies are incredibly important creatures that do all kinds of ecosystem services for us. They make up 10% of the world's biodiversity. Biodiversity is the world's capital. It represents our food, our medicines, our raw materials, all of which allow us to live the way we live today. Also, they provide ecosystem services that provide invisible resources like fresh water, clean air, and pest-free environments. So it's important to study all kinds of biodiversity so that we can use it for whatever purposes. And of course, what we don't know about, we can't save. So conservation desperately depends upon our knowledge of biodiversity as well.